What is up, guys? Thank you for stopping by Steady Chaos Productions. I'm your man, Steady Chaos. And before the beta is done with for Call of Duty Cold War, let's jump in and play some multiplayer, shall we? Yes, let's. Alright, so I have played a few matches already. I've played probably six or seven matches. It's Call of Duty. What can you say? It's the same thing pretty much every year, although I will say this game, graphically speaking, does not look anywhere near as good as Call of Duty Modern Warfare from last year. That's one observation I've made right off the bat. It's not a bad looking game, you know, it runs at 60 frames per second, but Modern Warfare certainly looked more realistic. It just looked better. But this game, in terms of how it handles, it handles pretty much the same. The guns have a reasonable amount of kick, I would say. Submachine guns work like they're supposed to so far. I mean, I've only used a few weapons like the MP5, the Uzi, the XM4. So I, I haven't had this game for long. It's just a beta. I've just had temporary access. But from what I can tell, the submachine gun is good at close range. All the various submachine guns. The assault rifle, the usual, good at me, uh, medium range. So everything feels like Call of Duty. You can jump around corners. You slide around corners, which a lot of people are still doing with their scuff controllers. That's never going to change. But at least, uh, unlike Infinite Warfare, this does not have jetpacks, so that's a good thing, because jetpacks are just effing annoying. So, as far as I can tell, with my limited amount of time so far, the beta for Call of Duty Cold War plays very much like all Call of Duty games. They're not going to change the formula. It's so successful, why would they? But at the same time, this game does feel distinctly like a Treyarch game. It's hard to put your finger on it, but the look, the feel, it, it's not, it doesn't feel quite as polished as an Infinity Ward game. In my opinion, Infinity Ward games are, are the cream of the crop, typically. Uh, not in every release instance, but typically for the Call of Duty franchise, it's Infinity Ward that's pushing things forward. And in this game, uh, they have a lot of different guns, a lot of realistic guns, like I said, the XM4, the Uzi, things like that. And just like the precedent that was set in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, they have, in this game, the same thing. I can show you on loadouts. It's called Gunsmith. So you click on the gun you want, and then you hear it. Just like Modern Warfare, you have the Gunsmith. You can change all kinds of stuff. You can change the optic, the muzzle, the barrel, the body, the underbarrel, the magazine, the handle, the stock. So I would venture to say that there are actually more customization options in this game than there were in Modern Warfare, at least at first glance. You can see all these various changes you can make. This looks like more than you could do in Modern Warfare. But for now, the game looks to be very deep. As usual for a Call of Duty game, I'm sure this will keep Call of Duty fans occupied and entertained for not just hours and days, but for weeks and months. And of course, this is going to have Warzone as well, in addition to the traditional Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, all that stuff. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get some beta gameplay going. I'm probably not going to be very good because I just don't play game, uh, Call of Duty games that often anymore, but that's okay. We just want to show you guys some gameplay footage, have a little bit of fun here. I mean, I've had this game for literally a day and I've played probably 45 minutes so far so I'm not looking to be uber competitive or you know watch out for my KD or anything let's just have some fun obviously we're gonna try to win but we have some fun we're not gonna get we're not gonna get too amped up or too upset Call of Duty games have a tendency to piss me off <laughs> but from what I can tell so far th this game does not have as many spots on the maps that I played to camp. Camping seems to be a, a bit more limited in this game, which is welcome. People seem to move a little bit more, so I like that. All right, let's focus in here. Oh, oh. he just freaking jumped right in my face, didn't he? I hear somebody coming. Footsteps are as loud as ever. Footsteps are so loud. Oh. Boom. Man, it is really hard to see with these iron sights. I'm not gonna lie about it. I can't see anything with these iron sights. They are so restrictive. And when you start going full auto and the recoil, yeah, I, I can't see anything. He's just duck walking. Okay, so after a hot start, we are getting our ass kicked. Needless to say, I do not know the map whatsoever. Fuck 
view. <laughs> this map on the dark side, it's kind of hard to see a little bit. One thing that they did change up is they removed the the full sprint option. So you could run your gun up really fast. They removed that. That doesn't. You can run infinitely now, but you can't do the fast sprint. Just a run, just a plain run. Which I don't really mind. You already move fast enough as it is. I don't really think you need the sprint. We're getting owned. <laughs> Oh, I knew getting those fucking tags is gonna get me killed. I this is why I absolutely hate kill confirmed. I just like TDM, but like I said, you have no choice. You gotta play this fucking garbage. I really need to unlock a suppressor. I think I've done enough though to unlock the red dot sight. So there's that. In another change in this game, they've added a health bar over your opponent. So as you shoot them, you can see how close they are to death, which is kind of cool. I do like that. This game just feels more arcadey in general and more traditional COD than Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare felt more realistic. This game does not have that feel. This is very, um, very arcadey. So I was 8 and 9 that round. That's not pretty. Alright, let's go to our loadout. There we go. So we got the quick LED. So we're at an extended barrel. So like I said, the extended barrel just gives you more firepower. It doesn't, there's no negative to adding an attachment, at least as far as I can tell. If you use a suppressor, it doesn't seem like you're going to lose range. If you add an extended barrel, it doesn't seem like you're going to lose quickness. So that's an interesting take. I'm guessing that they do the same pick five. You can have five attachments max. We'll see. This map again. Honestly, based on what I played so far, I'm not even so sure I'm going to buy this game when, it, when I get the PlayStation 5. There are other things that I want to play. Maybe when this game goes on sale or if it's been out for a few months and you can get it for like $29.99, I might give it a whirl, but there's just nothing here in my opinion. Unless you're a hardcore Call of Duty fan and you get it every single year, there's no incentive. There's nothing different here for me to want to jump on and buy this game. So in that respect, I'm thankful I played the beta because in my opinion, Modern Warfare is a much better game than this based on what I've played so far. Granted, I have not gotten a great sample size with this game, but... Modern Warfare is a better looking game, the weapons feel better, uh, everything feels a bit more realistic and refined. The extended barrel has certainly made me more accurate. Oh god, I'm so much more accurate with the extended barrel. Get out of here, bitch. What? You, he was literally, he said nice camping to me and he was ducked right here. <laughs> wow. You like that? What are my teammates doing? They're all over there and everyone's just sitting back letting me go at them. Well, I had no chance there. Killed. 
I knew it. Heaven forbid you try to use a fucking kill streak. Wow, um... <laughs> Who the fuck snipes in this tiny map on Domination? Congratulations, if I had a cookie, I'd give you one. I can hear somebody. Oh my god, really? Well, if you like spam grenades, they're back. Actually, you know what? Look at this guy. Question. Fuck you. Yes, bitch. At least he wasn't camping. <laughs> oh my god. Reload, reload. Oh boy. Ah. Oh. I was number one on my team. I don't know why I keep getting put on garbage teams, but I do. And, it, and it's not like it's skill-based matchmaking, because I haven't done all that well since I've started playing. If anything, if it's skill-based matchmaking, I should be matched up against shitty players right now. Then again, this is the beta we're talking about here, so... People aren't going to go out of the way to download the beta unless they're huge Call of Duty fans. So I unlocked a couple things. A laser sight, which is good. I was 22 and 13, so I had a decent game. Did a lot of damage. Jesus. Hey, under barrel. All right. So we were 15 and 8 that round. Not bad. We're getting a little better, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Let's see. Under barrel. Four grip. Yes. We're really helping out the accuracy now. See, I don't see... Oh, there's a negative right there. Field agent grip. Shooting move speed goes down 10%. Vertical reach, recoil improves 6%. Horizontal recoil control up 20%. This is interesting. I like the way they do this with the percentage points. All right. All right. Kill confirmed, Kill confirmed again. How did he hit me when I'm... How do you aim a sniper rifle when you're being shot? That's what I hate about Call of Duty. That is what I hate. You're mad, bro? <laughs> you can be getting shot in the face in this game and you can still stay on target with a sniper rifle. It makes no sense. Fuck you. <laughs> Reload. Come on. I know they're... Right there. You gotta pick up the tags, bro. You got the kill. Right off. He's coming from here. He's coming from here. Alright, move in. Then, I guess. I 
really, I'm really feeling like the the laser is useless. It just, it just not, it's not really helping me much with hip fire. Oh. Whoa! We're having a pretty decent game here. Let's get the artillery going. There. There. And there. Wow, nothing. Oh -ho -ho -ho. We're landing some nice headshots this round. Really? That's how my kill streak was ended. Oh, we won. That was a decent game. 65 to 25, we slaughtered them. Oh, Call of Duty. See, nothing changes. You can still quick scope. The snipers don't handle it all like they should, or they do in real life in this game. But then again, this is an arcadey game, so it is what it is. I unlocked the fast clip magazine, and I got 250 XP. That was 13 and 6. Not a bad game. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this, for this Call of Duty Cold War beta gameplay. You pretty much know who I feel if you watch most of this video. It's the same old Call of Duty that we've gotten year after year after year from Treyarch. And in my opinion, this Call of Duty is not nearly as good as Modern Warfare. Not from a graphical standpoint, and not from a gameplay standpoint. I feel like the presentation is much better in Modern Warfare, and I feel like the guns are smoother and more realistic in Modern Warfare. Uh, this just feels like more of the same. I, I really don't think when this game comes out and I have my PS5, I really don't think I'm going to buy this game. <laughs> so, it's not to say it's a bad game. If you are a Call of Duty fan, if you're a Call of Duty diehard, then you are certainly going to enjoy this game. It's fun. You know, it's deep. There's a lot of unlockables, things like that. But, it's not... Um, if you're on the fence about whether or not you want to start playing Call of Duty again, you haven't played in a few years, three or four years, or two years, or you're totally content with Modern Warfare, then I would recommend you either not buy this at all, or at least wait until it's on sale for 20 or 30 bucks. Uh, because, like I said, nothing's changed here. You're still jumping around, you're still sliding around, um, you're still running around with your hair on fire. Uh, the maps are not interactive whatsoever. Everything remains static and there is no environmental interaction at all. So all of that's the same. So yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Have you played this beta and are you enjoying it? And if so, are you going to buy the game on this generation of consoles or are you going to wait until next generation of consoles to buy this game? So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this beta gameplay of Call of Duty Cold War. I know I have. It's pretty fun. And uh, with that said, we will see you guys soon with more content. Later.